this is Niladri Mahapatra once again. We are talking about capacity planning and we'll see how we can uh, do the capacity planning within Rally. And uh, we'll do a recap of the previous uh, tutorial that we did and understanding how we actually did the capacity planning, all the calculations. And then probably we'll put those values into uh, Rally and see how those capacity planning are in use. So let's do uh, the recap quickly. So here uh, our sprint is starting on 7th of June, ending on 20th of June. We have 10 days of sprint and these are the team members. We have four developer, three tester and their allocation is let's say 100% and 50% for one of the tester. So total it was coming to 52 hours per day for the entire team and 520 hours for the entire team enter sprint. And each day the capacity is 52, 52, 52 here. So we'll do some uh, calculations based upon that calculation. We'll see how does that goes. The default distribution is eight hours for every one and four hours for every day uh, for Mark. Assuming uh, 12th of uh, June is a holiday. So our capacity will be reduced to 72. Now, if we calculate the individual holiday, let's assume Alex is uh, zero, uh, zero here means uh, day off. Amit is on 13th is a day off and uh, Jason zero here is uh, day off on 15th and Tanushri here I'm taking a partial day off so uh, the capacity is coming up like 64 sorry the capacity is coming up like 64 64 68 72 64 and that way total of 40 uh, 440 hours now we'll be calculating uh, the ceremony time so how much we are actually putting uh, our time into conducting all the ceremonies or attending all the ceremonies, different meetings. You can do it based upon your need. And we found out, okay, 12.33 hours we are spending each uh, for the entire sprint of uh, those two duration. Now, again, uh, here we see if we reduce that ceremony time, it's coming to uh, this much of value 51.67 and up to 3.53 hours uh, per uh, per sprint and finally we'll be looking into the focus factor if we take a 90 percent of focus factor then it will be coming to 46.50 for most of them and a few of whoever didn't take a leave is 53.70 so total uh, amount of uh, hours for this cap team for this particular sprint that we are targeting for the capacity is 318.32 hours and the final capacity for everyone is as below if you see the final capacity how it is coming to. Now let's uh, bring this uh, capacity and put it into TFS and let's see how does that work. Okay, so this is TFS. We have our backlog. Uh, we'll see first where we can put in our uh, uh, this uh, capacity. So we'll go to team status where we have listed all these team members what we have. And uh, we'll be assuming, okay, uh, Alex, We this is saying one task because there is one task I already have assigned to him. We'll go to there later for uh, assigning few more tasks and assigning hours. But the very first thing we'll be doing is for Alex, we know it was 46.50. So I'll update this hour to 46.50. Then I'll be updating the hours for Amit, it's 46.50 again. Then I have Tanushri, it's 50.10. And similarly, in that way, we'll be putting all the hours. Okay, we are not marking uh, Niladri and Peter just because uh, we are assuming Niladri is the product owner and Peter is the Scrum Master and we don't uh, plan capacity for them in assumption that Scrum Master and product owner don't put their effort in construction. So this is how we have planned our uh, particular this sprint. So this is for the sprint one. If you uh, have multiple sprint, you can select that sprint and uh, select the capacity for that sprint. Now quickly check back how is our sprint backlog looking and we'll assign some task to Alex and Amit. As of now, there are tasks, but uh, in our sprint backlog, we don't have any estimated efforts to those tasks. 
so if we actually look into this us1 there are uh, two uh, tasks we have but there was no plan estimate and so what i'll be doing is i'll be marking a to do for five hours here and 10 hours here so there are two tasks i am not uh, concentrating on plan estimate or task estimate i am just uh, looking into to do this is uh, in rally uh, the remaining hours as of now so every day you need to change this value based upon a year to do now if i again go back and look into the team status it says five here is a to-do and uh, this is already allocated out of 46.50 now if we add m more than their capacity what will happen so let's go to sprint backlog once again and uh, let me create one more task for this user story and i'm saying devlopment development add so our task is now added this is our user story we have the task and let's assign this task to uh, someone dennis sorry i just added another task what we'll be doing is we'll be changing the owner and select dennis dni okay so what will be in the remaining hours let's assume uh, initially let's do it at 40. now that's again uh, 40 hours we'll go back to team status and see okay this is 40 hours here out of 53.7 so what we'll be doing adding another task to dennis and we'll make that hours we already had two hours this one so we'll be doing 20 hours for this task to dennis and we'll reassign it to dennis so this will be deni this is now over allocation so if we over allocate someone it's total of 60 hours of dennis irrespective of different story you can have it will sum up all them and show in team status so if you see team status, this is 60. So this is actually a high risk for uh, the team because whatever the capacity you have and the to do is more. So you need to take an action over there. If any value is more than the capacity, it's not showing in red, but uh, it's uh, showing into it this way. You can actually see how this uh, 60 came up in your capacity and you can actually take a decision who have bandwidth and how you can change that task from here to that particular person i think uh, that's uh, you understood how you can plan your capacity and at the time of uh, doing your sprint planning you need to constantly look into everyone's value if it is over allocated or still have some bandwidth and that way you can do your planning if uh, you have any more questions any comments you can uh, drop a comments on uh, this video or you can go to uh, the agile digest page for capacity planning and there is options for comment you can do that hope you uh, will be used this will be useful for you we'll be coming up with another video where we'll be doing a capacity planning on jira till that time thank you bye bye have a good day